settings. Oh, let's see. Let's do the training room. I've never played this. Hello and welcome to the Black oh. Mesa Hazard Course, where you Hello. will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Oh. I don't have to jump. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained. You have to check some of the controls. Alright. Communication under cell beams. I have a suit. Oh. Welcome to the HEV. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. Can't if you see one of oh. these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate the Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System for use in hazardous environment conditions. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly oh, disorienting at first. Good. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. Okay. That sound? Oh, I guess I can't go in there. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth. To get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then oh, jump wait. up, and while you're in midair, go into a crouch. Oh. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. Nice job. Cool. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't if you keep falling short, you might be jumping too soon. Great work. Oh, now there is one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch. 
Whoa! That's pretty cool. It's like Mario, kind of. It's like Mario. Oh, I go down? Oh, that's cool. Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. Now that you're up here, there's only one what? way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. So if you, you want me to die? From the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. Oh. Oh. Awesome. Oh. Oh. You will find med kits like this one throughout oh, the up. Black Mesa Common. To restore oh. your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Oh. Can I turn back? I turn back. Fantastic. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward against the box and you can push it into the physics. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. Oh. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backwards. Oh, puzzle. Pretty nice. Finally, if nothing else works, you can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the debris. Uh oh, that wasn't good. Wait, it won't let me. Hmm. I won't let me return. No. They clutch you. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Power. Target range. Welcome to the Black Mesa Target Range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. Is being a little bit glitchy. He won't let me fire. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses, rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only... Well, click on something. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I can break. Target range. Please advance to the next area. Your HEV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your ox you will see the blood oxygen indicator. the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. Power. Step up to any charger and press your unit. If you pass through fire or steel, oh. proximity to radiation activates the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazard to the next area. I'm dropping. <laughs> Lead a security guard into the next sure, room. I'll follow you. He will let you back into the transit. Access denied. Oh, he'll, he'll do it? That's cool. Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage. <laughs> It. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system.